Hi, I'm Tyler Marshall bringing you a how-to video on how to turn anybody into a zombie. And today I have a friend of mine here who wants to uh, be the person to do it. And this is Maylee. Say hi, Maylee. Hi. First off, a good way to start off is to get Gaza, which you can get at any store, and take spray paint. <coughs> Black is preferred. And spray paint them to make them look dirty. So first, we take the spray painted gauze wrap that we did the first time, and we take it, we're gonna wrap it, hold that there for me. And then if you wanna make it more realistic, take some hair out here and there, have it kinda of like just laying out. Boy, let's wrap those eyes. <laughs> Like that. You always want at least one eye to see. It's always a good thing to see. Alright, and then you just take it like this. You just kind of tuck it in there, or you can use tape, whatever you prefer. Then you take some hair out here, some stragglers here. Which we just took corn syrup. Um, what else was there? There was corn syrup, red, food coloring, red, blue, and yellow. Red, blue, and yellow food coloring. Uh, um, and warm water. And you just mix it together in here and it gives you the ingredients. Just Google it, you'll find it. And then it makes a pretty good blunt. And then you just take some extra gauze wrap that you have left over. You bloody it up, try not to get in the hair, it's the hardest part is getting out of the hair. And it's kind of bloody it up here. Now you can find more realistic blood at like, you know, Halloween stores, but if you want to make your own, this is probably as real as it's going to get. But if you look up the site, there's a whole bunch of different ways you can do it. But you want to bloody up the eye, kind of, to make it you know, realistic. I mean, that's just my thoughts on it. You can make yours whatever way you want to make it. Then you can add some blood right around here. Kind of make it look like it kind of splattered or something like that. Have it dripping. That's always a good thing. And then, of course, if it's a zombie, you gotta have blood on the mouth. So... <laughs> Take some blood. And you bloody up the mouth. <laughs> and let it. Yeah, it may not taste the grace, it's kind of a sweet taste to it. But let it <laughs> kind of drip off. And then. Another good thing you can do is if the makeup artist wants to get himself all messed up too, take the blood. See your arms. Do handprints. Kind of like the victim came at him or something. I mean, that's only if you really want to get yourself messy too. You can see how real it looks right here. Just do like that again. Yeah, you handprints all over you. Okay. <laughs> And I'm gonna get myself washed up and I'll show you the after effects of what it's gonna look like when she's completely finished. And so we have the zombie. <laughs> What's that? You can take <laughs> you can take a shirt of any kind and rip it up and that gives a little bit more uh, feel like you got ripped up by a zombie. Then you can buy props. We bought this prop at I think the dollar store. It's called the cheating heart, but all you gotta do is take it out of its little wrapping, and she can walk around with this in her hand. And normally you can do pants, but today we're not gonna do that, but uh, 
Basically, all you need though to make somebody a zombie is this. You need gauze wrap, some spray paint, some fake blood, and some props look good. And that's how you make a fake zombie. Thank you for watching.